Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the spooky season of Let's Try. My name is Retrovation. This is Ziggurat 2's 1.0 release. I'm incredibly excited to check this out. We played this a year ago, and it was really good. It just needed more stuff in it. They went through an entire year of a very clean early access period that they added a ton of stuff at a very rapid pace. So I'm excited to see where it's at. There is, in fact, like a full-on roguelike mode now, too, uh, which I'm excited by because, you know, there was the main story mode that had the meta progression and everything, but now there is just the standard get in, do a run kind of a mode. There's infinite dungeon gauntlet, all this kinds of extra stuff uh, with all kinds of heroes to unlock characters, deal blank, wand damage. So it looks like the unlocks are separate between each mode too. So you can entirely just play this mode in the roguelike way or the roguelite story way. Whatever you want, it seems like, which is quite nice, because I know I have more characters to unlock than this in the story mode. Let's just play as Argo, though, right? Why not? In we shall go with Argo to Ziggurat 2 1.0. Performed every 10 winters, the Ziggurat Trial is the final test to join the Daedalon Brotherhood. The shape-shifting structure hides countless dangers and secrets, and few manage to leave unscathed. But, like, I, I know one of the problems I had was, wow, okay, I'm already, no like, I'm immediately noticing variation. This zone didn't exist. <laughs> this, straight up, this zone didn't exist before. Uh, but there was, like, there's not very many bosses or enemy variation. That was, like, that was rectified, like, a month after I played. And they've just gone crazier and crazier since then. So what do we got here? Divine Wrath. Okay, passive effect, 5% extra damage. Special effect trigger, a lightning surge when defeating a stunned enemy. So, in this mode, all of the unlocks for these things are... They're pre, pre-unlocked. pre Thank God. Okay, I like that. I like that. And I think the more you use them, the stronger they get, too, on top of that, if I remember correctly. All right. Hello there. Oh, we are back at it again. You better believe it. Hello there. I do not know that big boy. Oh boy. We also have our wands. What do we got here? Yep, 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 yep. Blast them. Oh! <laughs> but yeah, I mean, for those who don't know, the original Ziggurat was a very important game to my channel. Like, I wouldn't credit it as the, uh, like, the first roguelike that I truly enjoyed on my channel because I, there was a bunch that I played a little bit before that. But it was definitely... If it wasn't for Ziggurat, I probably would not have stuck with roguelikes on the channel. It was my first long series that I ever did. Whoa, boy. Hello there. It was my my first chunky long series. So it's fun to have this out and be like ready and done and in a full full capacity. Holy crap, we're getting stuck on stuff like immediately here. Such a fast-paced, wild experience. Hello. Oh, my. We're like dying already. I don't know what our um, amulet does. Oh, it absorbs up the experience. Good stuff, good stuff. We got to level up. Nice. Hello there, mister. Bye-bye. All right, we got to level up. What do we want to go for? Increase your item pickup range by 75%. Eh. Recover five mana of every pool when defeating an enemy with your wand. That does seem pretty good. Or fire rate. The fun thing that Ziggurat 2 does is you get the pick between these three perks, and a lot of times in games like this, when that's sort of the thing, you kind of get a, a path that you start to just go down all the time. But they did a thing where you also get a randomized stat at the bottom here, which is different every time. So, uh, like, I would probably want to go for fire rate, which would be nice. It also comes with a barrier, which is just a 25, a temporary 25 health barrier. Uh... I mean, we, we certainly could. Staff mana, that's permanent. That just... There's th four different types of, uh, of weapons. There's the wand, which has infinitely regenerating mana, so you never run out. There's the spell, staff, and alchemy. Those, you can just have three different weapons with you. Uh, and that mana is obviously, like, your ammo for those. Uh, like, one mana up is actually low-key quite nice, since it just lets you use your infinitely generating wand more. It makes, like, just... There's builds where you just make your wand very strong. It's totally valid. Uh, Spell Slinger... I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with Fire Rate. I'm doing it. The funny thing about Ziggurat 2, it's a little bit less... Or, or Ziggurat in general, it's a little bit less notable in this, but... 
Our wizard's very short. You know? Like, I'm like two feet tall. That's always one thing about this game that I found funny. Oh, we got our we got our key room. Wait, oh. Up I go. Guardian seal acquired. We have our boss here too already. I don't want to leave yet. Like standard roguelike fare, I think that it is usually dumb to leave the <laughs> the, the floors uncleared. Mana stone. We already have an amulet which I think absorbs all of the... Oh, you can change your wand. Okay. Wait, is it is it a level up one? Ah, that's actually... Okay. So it's a higher level wand. Because they're all supposed to be more or less balanced among each other, but this is interesting. You can actually just jump... Like, it might be... Even though you might not like that one better, if it's a, a few levels higher, that, that might actually become worth it in that case. Oh, God. A trap in there. Defeat all the enemies. Can do. Who do we got here? Is that an enemy? No. Where are the enemies? They in the sky? Is it this thing? Oh, there you are. Hello. Hello there, weird man. Is it just one really tough guy? I mean, like, if we could just hide behind this thing here, it doesn't. he's not really that tough of a guy. Yeah, he was... Just, there's just two enemies here, and that's it. Whoop. Got a big boy up here. Ah, okay. We got, like, a summoner or something. Let's use our staff. The, like, these extra weapons are supposed to be better than the, uh... Whoop. Than the one... Oh! Okay. Yeah, it's kind of a fire molotov or something there. They're supposed to be better than the ones on average, but, you know, you want to make sure you are relatively... Uh... Balanced with how much mana you're spending on each thing there, because you don't want to... I get sniped by them all the time. You don't want to be in a tough fight without, you know, ammo and something important. I feel like you're the summoner. Victory! We can get even more fire rate up. Damage to your barrier is reduced by 15%. That's kind of cool. Cover 10% of your mana at the start of a fight. And, oh, and an increase in staff max mana. That actually sounds kind of nice. <clears throat> Helps us with our economy, ammo economy, mana economy. Can I not make that jump, really? With a little bit of a speed upgrade. This is just for fun. I kind of thought so. This thing is, seems, like a, seems like a problem. All right. What we got going on here? Is this going to be a fight room? Nope. Oh, this is, it's just like, uh, get on here to, to exit this way. Okay. That's kind of fun. This is a cool zone. This is a very cool zone. I love that we immediately have noticed a couple differences. Like, obviously, these enemies are new, too. They, they are very zone thematically appropriate. This is very cool. Like, because last time I played this, I was like, this is better than Ziggurat 1. Like... Ziggurat 1 is great, was great when it was out, but then, like, there's a lot of elements of it that just did not hold up incredibly well. Whoa. So Ziggurat 2 was already, like, one year ago, this game was better than Ziggurat 1. Like, just... If, if we're talking... We're not talking, like, how good was it when Ziggurat 1 came out. I'm talking, like, in present day, it kicked the, it kicked the, the poop out of Ziggurat 1. Because I, I did go back and play it recently. The game's amazing, but 2 is just better. 2 is just better, was better a year ago, and I, uh, I'm i noticing a lot of extra variety, which was really, like I mentioned back then, that was just what it needed. That was the, There's a lot of roguelikes where that's just that's the thing they're missing, is make it wider. And this was one of them. Boink. So it looks like that guy does a little bit of an oh, explosion when he dies, too. We gotta learn these enemies. Like, obviously, these guys split. If they split into these, um... Let's see if there's any experience we missed. Split into these purple guys, then they explode on death. Get him? Got him. Got the one. Whoop. Also, the fact that there was not a roguelike... There's not even, like, the standard ro run mode. 
there's the full story mode, which honestly was was nice, but I'm not using my dodge at all. I think because it's just on a weird key bind. E for a dodge feels wrong. Is there anything on left shift? Run. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, You know... Let's put that on this, and then we'll put our skill. Wait, what? I don't think Argo has a skill. Whoop! I think he just has, like, a passive. All the characters have their own thing. I think he, he just, like, gets more experience or something, which, as far as a basic character, that's a pretty good per. Oh, my God. Okay, so these guys are weak to lightning. Very good to know. Whoop. I do not know what carrots are weak to. But let's uh, let's get, get them all lined up. Do a little bit of a pierce through. Clean stuff. Clean stuff. Woo-booey. Hello there. Hello there. Okay. Potions recover. 10% more health. Uh, alchemy man up, one man up. Dropped pickups are absorbed with a 30% effectiveness instead of timing out. Oh, that seems great for me. That's always been the one thing about Ziggurat that I was like terrible with is it's hard in the middle of combat to go around and do like a little scroungy pickup of all of those things on the ground sometimes. So that's actually a really nice perk. I'm glad they added that. Okay, we're done with the floor, so we're fine to do this now and go fight the boss. Go fight La Boss. Shia La Boss. Actually, let's check out the shop first. Is it upgrade? It's not upgraded. I mean, like, it's it's a good item and everything. This is tempting. Passive effect, 5% extra damage. Okay, I think that's on everything. Two barrier for every ten enemies defeated. The one we have is, like, really mana conscious, but I don't really care. We could always switch back, but this one's a level four. RPG tells me that this is just going to be better. Throw it in there. Throw it in there. Okay, I'm excited. Oh, my God. This is definitely a new boss. I've never seen that before. I would have remembered in my nightmares. Oh, hello. Okay, let's use it. Can I do damage to the tails? I can. So, I figured as much, but... If we line up our shots so we can do, like, a piercing shot, we can get kind of like a double damage sort of thing going on there. Oh. Babby's... Go for piercing shot on that. Maybe we just use our standard wand here until ah. God, this is very yeah, this is very slow. Until the uh, things line up or the ads spawn. Oop. Pierce some. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Hey, that was not too bad. This guy's neat. He's a more involved boss than some of the others that I remember for sure. Line him up. Also, just the addition of a a, uh, a dodge. Wait, is that what he has? Is that what Argo's ability is? Oh, that looks gnarly. Maybe we just kill him. I feel like the ads are going to go away when he dies. Yup. Absorb. All right, what do we got? Random mana pool will increase its capacity by 20% and mana usage by 10%. Two random perks, but experience from knowledge gems is reduced by 5%. That's something to do late in a run, not something to do early in a run. What's Siphon? Is that my active? 
don't really care about that. You can spend six bucks to reroll, too. That's kind of neat. Let's go specialist. Let's go. We got the staff upgrade. That's great, because all we have is a staff. We do get a new... Uh, I mean, if it's if it's like original Ziggurat, we get a new item at the start of every floor. Accurate don't even... Don't look at that. Another new zone. This looks like a similarly icy place, but this is kind of like cursed. Yeah. So it's it's similar but different. That that bodes well for variety though. Cuz this is another place that I had never seen before. Hellish Ember. Okay, it's a gentle shot gun kind of a thing. Okay, watch out for the spikes. Okay, we got our key. Oh boy. You'd think in this zone... Oh my god, we just... We're finding all the good stuff early. you think in this zone that the fire might be pretty decent. What the heck? Black market perk? Oh, wait. Oh, that's just the name of the perk. Huh. Every mana crystal we pick up will grant a little bit of barrier. Staff mana pool up even more? I mean, that sounds pretty good. What the heck? Keepies acquired. What? For the store, I guess? What? Is it in this room? Hidden in the... Oh, okay. Hidden in the dungeon. It might not necessarily be in this room. Oh, God. Well, at least it does a little bit of a sound thing, like a little bit of a wee wee. Should help a bit. Hello? Even he is a different version of a guy that we've seen before. That can go a long way, too, sometimes. You know, just, like, different variations of the same enemies. Like, it, it does go a long way if they perform differently. He looks like he maybe does a little bit of a jump to the side. Oh! Oh, that is not good. This is not a good weapon to use against him because fire against fire does matter. Boop, 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 boop. I mean, I feel like maybe we should just be using this one for the most part. Yeah, Jabroni. I think we got all the experience, pretty sure. Oop. Ah, you evil room. Find all the magic shards. Yeah, this is another neat thing that Ziggurat does, is uh, not all the rooms are just kill this many... Ooh, oh, I'm dodging that one. Kill this many enemies. Not, they're not all that way. We need to find all these and then kill, and then kill the enemies after, so... To an extent... Dent. Wait, if I dodge through it, does it not count? Oh! That thing's the same color as... <laughs> same color as the shards. Oh, the goo. Get out of here. Oh, boy. We got four more still. I think they spawn in over... T yeah, they definitely spawn in. We would have, We would have seen those. Okay, we got them all. Now we got to defeat everybody. Whoop. Okay, fire guy. Fire guy. I don't know if we get experience from enemies in this room, though. There's the key. Nice. Ah, I got distracted by the shiny. Shotgun from a distance, why not? We uh, we got kind of bodied there. Increase enemies drop rate by 5%. Recover 20% of your man at the start of the fight, and our health goes up by 5. Feels like a pretty good idea for now. It's a good, good middle ground. So you need three pieces of key. Ooh. 
I do like that it has the visual, like you can obviously find it, but there's also the sound cue as, as well on top of it. Nice. That's clever. That's a good way to reward exploring. All right. What is it? And this is new. Increase the damage deals. Upgrade the Divine Wrath. I mean, we have the super good uh, mana economy on this staff already. I feel like maybe you can do it on your wand too, though. That maybe that that might have been a better idea. In hindsight. Who knows? Hello. Fly guys. Okay, so yeah, they explode when they die. I feel like there's somebody behind me. Don't want to kill them yet. Because they're going to go... Oh, go ahead and explode. Oh, dashing through the poison still? Okay, does not matter. Illusionist. I think that means he teleports around. Is that what it was? Things are kind of dicey here. I'm trying to... Ah. I'm trying to dodge all the goop. Okay. Is there health here? No, there's no health. We can also feel like we can pick up all that garbage. Oh, hey, ho. Oh. Health? Nope, that level up helps, though. After using Siphon, which I assume is our active. Yes. Gain 50% fire rate for 4 seconds. That's interesting. Switch weapons 20% faster, and after switching weapons, you don't use mana for 2 seconds. And a 25 barrier. I'm kind of between the two on the sides because the barrier on sleight of hand, and it, like I would probably take sleight of hand if it was just only the upgrade, but 5 permanent health is better than 25 barrier. At least on... The floor that we're on. I assume that, I assume the run's gonna take, you know, a little bit longer. My guess would be it's like a 50-minute endeavor. The first one was like an hour ten or something, I think. Let's do it. All right. We have enough money to get something from this other area too. We can buy a perk. Lose a random weapon. If you have any, get 12 points of shield. Okay, I mean, that's pretty good. Like, but probably staff mana pool. Yeah, let's go to staff mana pool. More mana. I need more mana. We gotta make sure to use that mana shrine when we're done with the floor. Oh, animate. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello there, Mr. Rutabaga. What is he? Is he, is he a parsnip? He looks like the carrots, but he's obviously... Oh, he's not a carrot. Unless he's just a corrupt carrot. Maybe, maybe he is just a corrupt carrot. Fire rate right up! Ooh! Ooh! Obviously, this rips through our mana super quickly, but kind of dig it anyway. That's tricky. Health? Was that health potion? No. Nope. Oh boy. Apologies there. Oh uh, boy. Hello. Uh, this is not good. Woo. Got a lot of different types of enemies here, which is rough stuff. You can't reliably just dodge them all in the same way. You know, a lot of times... If you have just a bunch of the same enemy, you can circle straight them usually very cleanly. 
But it's it's good for game difficulty that it is not that way. That we do have such big variety. That is our alt fire for this weapon, by the way. You have your primary, which is kind of the shotgun thing. And then we have our alt fire, which does a big old unload blast there. Pretty neat. Victorious! Alright. Mana room. To the mana room. Maybe we'll actually get an ice-based boss for the ice-based zone. And we'll do fire-based damage to make him a sad-based guy. <laughs> there. I was wondering where that was. You were wondering where that was going? So was I. I was on the same page as you. I have no freaking clue. A boss. I come for you, boss. I... Oh, I dodged it that time. I can't remember if there's iframes on the dodge or not. Don't recall. I will say I love the reintroduction of the classic more, more rogy mode. The pierogi mode. What's with that mouse strip? That's not me, by the way. That's sliding to the right, I guess, in my mouse. You, I think I remember. No? Wait. Yes? I think I remember you. Oh, no, you are... No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't like you. Oh, my God. I do not remember him. Okay. Uh, just keep running. Just keep running. Oh, Lord. Ow. No. I don't know how to dodge that attack. Maybe. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to dodge that attack. Probably a left, right? I, I literally couldn't outrun him. So there must be. Must have been some way to do it. They're not going to just make it so you can't. <laughs> Swift spike unlocked. Equalizer unlocked. So we're unlocking all of these things that can now show up in a run. Huge fan of that. Uh, let's see. What else we got? Gauntlet. High intensity challenge. Dozen of enemies around you in a large arena. Countless waves. Man, that's, that's for some people. That's not for me, but that's for some people. There's a daily challenge and everything now. Nice. Yeah, there's a lot of characters here. I think... Who was the last character? I think she was the last... I think... I think this... Or whoever this is. It's either her or this person was the last character when I played. So they, they've added a decent amount more. So what's different about Karina? I, I don't think she's that much different in this. I think she's uh, supposed to be the other kind of balanced character here. Like regular... Repels and damages nearby enemies. Cool. Passive effects, special effects, shove. I'll tell you what we're actually going to do, though. For the sake of curiosity, let's check out the new... Um, I don't know if this is the, the final chapter. We found a location, the location of the Dark Lord's secret lab. Let's get to him before he runs away. This more or less will be just as new, right? Okay, so we get to pick a lot of stuff. There, there, this is the mode, the standard story mode. If you want a nice, more casual experience, you will you will be getting stronger and stronger the more you play this mode. Uh, it's got a lot of meta progression stuff like that. If you want if you want that kind of experience, that is also here. If you're kind of like you want the Hades vibes, it is it is also present. What do we got? I can't remember that. I can't remember what these characters do. Jacob, I remember being fun. Ah, wait. Spend 5% of your health and get higher damage and fire rate with no mana usage is really fun. Base damage reduced by 20%. Enemy drop rate increased by 15%. Special effects sacrifice plus 25% to mana, health, and barrier drop rate. And drop rate. Sure, let's just play as Jacob. I remember him being fun. We've got this one that's clearly upgraded in some way. Doombringer. Sure. 
I think we just, like, it presents us with a, a few options. Oh, no, it's saying that it's trying to, like, urge us to pick one of these. We would get more experience in this item with this weapon if we pick it. Ah, they're trying to sway us. I mean, I will say that the Seal of Destiny sounds nice. Just invincibility on an active sounds kind of nice. The passive. It comes with a passive that sucks, though. That's kind of interesting. And you can see not all of the, the abilities on these things are unlocked. So you really got like a full kind of RPG style progression and everything you can go for. Which is pretty, it was pretty fun. I, I, I dig it. It's pretty fun. But I, you know, I'm happy to have both modes. The Dark Lord hasn't just stood idly by after seeing his plans thwarted. He's gaining influence at a faster pace than we expected and has to be stopped. Our only lead points to a hidden cave that he uses as headquarters. We'll try to take him by surprise and subdue him. Our only lead is his headquarters. It's a pretty good lead. It's a pretty good lead. Hey, this is a new zone too. I'm, ha I'm happy I picked this. We can guarantee... Accidentally guaranteed new... Uh, New zone. All right. All right, Jacob. Show me my character sheet again here. I thought it was control to do that, but hey. Let me just double check. So we have more health. That might be because of the meta progression, though. Uh, spell mana. Whatever. Yeah, whatever, whatever. I'm not seeing the damage reduction thing anymore, though. Is that over here? Ah, there it is. Our base damage is down, but we can sacrifice our health to do... Do quite a bit more damage. I think, like... I can't remember if it just doubles or if it, like, triples or something. It's, it's crazy, whatever it is. Oh, I got mana from there. Mana room, hello. Oof. Defeat all and a mice. Go for it. Hey, look at that. I like him. Okay. So I can use uh I, I use this ability here. We're completely able to shoot for free for a little while, and we do more damage. We don't have to worry about mana while that's on. What is this do? Are these homing? I think they're like gently homing. Whoa, boy, hello. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Let's sacrifice a little bit of health for extra damage here. I'm a sucker for it. What, what can I say? Oh, my God. These guys are... They know me. They know me well. That's right. They shoot when you attack them. So you got to be kind of further from them or, or ready to dodge when you hit them. Hello there, rock boy. I think he's also new. He's got to be weak to ice, right? Yeah, he is. What's our alt fire? We, like, throw down a... Oh, weird! Oh, that's super cool, actually. We throw, like, a little, a little blob ball that then splits off in an AoE after. Stop hitting me! I'm trying to show off something cool. Bloop. Oh, that's so neat. Oh, it has a chance to freeze, too. Cool. I think we missed out on a lot of experience here. I just cringe when streamer missed experience in fast-paced game. That's week two electricity. Let's see here. One fire rate up by 15%. Honestly? Ouch. Honestly? Let's do it. Let me see what the mana economy looks like. We're just starting from top. Honestly, pretty good. Honestly, pretty good.
Ooh, that's fun. This just sounds fun. Oh my god. Ooh, hello. This is such a good spooky vibe room here. Oh god, they're, they're everywhere in this room, man. They're everywhere. Yeah, it's not gonna be the way on these guys. You know what? Screw this. Let's go invincible. Just literally stand in his face with invincibility. And it ran out right in time for that. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Lead your shots, Dingus. Okay. Let's see some experience over here. Dash! Ah! They are absolute master snipers. You guys suck! Okay, there we go. Really well timed invincibility. I'm gonna back up a little bit. They're hurting my eyes. These guys are too tanky. You are too tanky, my friend. It also doesn't help that I do 20% reduce damage as this character. Oh, there's somebody left! Oh my god. I thought that these were the only guys left at this point. Jerks? Did he just spawn? I think he might have. Wait, you're strong dice. Strong dice, weak to lightning. Weird missile thing. You know, just do a little pokey pokey. The hokey pokey. Wow. What a rough, rough room. Just got a lot of... Ooh. 5% extra incoming damage, but more experience. More level ups from Crystal. I mean, that's kind of fun. 30% of the unneeded health by healing potions converted to barrier. That's a really cool perk that we will maybe never get use from. This is an extreme amount of barrier. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I'm going to be stupid. We're gonna we're gonna do this instead. All right, man. I really I really really feel that damage reduction on this character. Obviously, I feel it when I uh, when I cast my active too here, but just mix them together here. Let's go all out. Bring it on. I'm not afraid of you. I mean, I kind of am because you're just not dying. Oh, this ain't great. We also have Curse on us, which I think makes us take even more damage. That was good. That was fun. Like, there's some maneuvers that are just really fun to see here. The darkness thing also really makes it tough to figure out where the enemies are, too. I don't know if that's on purpose or not. It might be like, it might be. Hmm. These dungeons are usually a little bit shorter than the main mode. So things like this are actually not too bad. I'm gonna go for the conduit though. Gives us a little bit of barrier. And it was, uh, the passive was one mana, which I th think I might end up using a lot, so. Just, uh, it's a buy a perk room. Oh my god. That does not stop your, your vertical momentum. Oh wait, oh, it's just straight up a normal shop. We don't have the stuff for any of this yet, but... Keep in mind what they got. Spectral bolts. We already have a spell, so probably not that. Oh, I love the blunderbuss. I love the blunderbuss. Let's get, let's get that. We need one more coin, which we probably, you know, missed on the ground somewhere. Can't see these spikes. Okay. 
Oh boy. Oh Mama Cedar. This ain't right. This ain't right. We gotta focus fire a little bit more. Oh, I tried to be cool. But alas, that's just not in my nature. Again, again, I just wanted to be cool. It does feel fun to just run right through them. Because you kind of have to do that to get the experience sometimes, you know? Otherwise, I cringe when streamer, yada, 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 wine, wine. Because I won't get all the experience. So it is important to, to run through there and do that sometimes. As rough as rough as it may end up for your health from time to time. Oh my god, that's such a oh that's such a fun perk. I love that. Such a fun perk. But this, the synergy within this one, 30% fire rate in the wand, or up to 30% fire rate in the wand, and an extra eight mana, that just works really well. Because fire rate is good, but you have it's it's not the same as a damage up because you run out of mana, you know? You gotta keep that in mind. Alright, let's go get the mana thing, even though we don't really need it for right now. It also gives you a 5% max mana upgrade. So we need to get... Hello? So we want to go for that, too. Whoop! Let's-a go! Alright. I think we're out of, yeah, we're out of invincibility now. Probably not great. Another new boss. King Blob the Third. Oh hell. Oh my god, we're we're doing so much damage. Oh my god, we do so much damage. Holy crap. What? Don't know what's going on there. I really wish I had my invincibility back, because this has turned sour. Probably should just take out some of the ads, but you know what? At this point, we just go ham. Go ham! Nice. We went glass cannon style on that fight, and it I think it paid off. We're at full health and everything, so I guess that's all that really matters, right? Alchemy mana pool up, doesn't really matter. After being hit, you become invulnerable for one second. This perk in the first game was busted. It was absolutely busted in Ziggurat 1. I'm going to go with this, though. It's more fun. I want to go damage. I want to go glass cannon. That's always the way to go in these games, right? In roguelikes. Glass cannon is the fun way to play. Bup, bup, bup. As a man who has, whose job it is to make the dang titles that you want to click on, y'all like the big number. You like damage. You know, <laughs> I had the most balanced run I have ever had. Like, this is the most balanced run of Ziggurat you've ever seen. Nobody gives a darn about that run. Everybody wants to see the one with the big number. I know you guys. I want big number. I don't want the balanced run. I like how there's different um, loading screens, even, for the same kind of room themes. I think that... I, I know it doesn't mean, like, a big, big difference, but we have... Oh, we have different music, too? Wow. There's, like... They really did a lot to e increase the, uh, the variance of this game. They did a lot. That was, that was really the only thing I wanted back then. There was like a maybe a couple balance things here and there that I'm sure got rounded out, but I think that was mostly just in relation to the um, the story mode, which you just don't have to you don't even have to play at that anymore if you don't want to. Oh, oh this feels great. 
Bop, 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 That was a massacre room. I like this song. Okay, we got one piece. I like the addition of the, uh, yeah, the secret room key thing there, too. I think it's a clever way to do the secret rooms. There's a lot of, yeah, just like a lot of clever aspects that shows, shows they knew what was missing from the game a year ago. They, they knew. It's clear. <laughs> Hello! I'm a dummy. They, they added so many fun perks, too. A lot of these perks are clever. Like, that's a thing in roguelikes that you really need. The perks, like, so many dang roguelikes have the most boring perks. It's just, it's always just like, do a bit more damage or have a bit more health. Like those exist because it's good to have those too to make the other ones more exciting. But the, the perks are like legitimately, ah, dang it, interesting. I have a gun. The best spell of all, a gun. It's, it is really good. What's this? I can't remember the alt fire. What does it really do? Looks like it does a. Oh, wait, did that just straight up kill? Wait a minute. Okay, so where is this? It's right here. Gotcha. Yeah, I love that that thing has a, a visual and an audio cue. It has both. It's important to have more than one. Oh. You get him? Whoop. Level up. Oh, wait a minute. Yes! This is why Jacob is awesome. Like, it's for these little moments that feel great. Oh my god. So fun. Okay. Uh, shop price is reduced by 25% and all floors will have a... Okay, have a shop. That's pretty fun. Oh, God, you can sprint faster. I do not care. <laughs> Let's do it. The sprint is already fast enough in this game, in my humble opinion. Like, the key oh, the final key's in here. Ta-da! Master key unlocked. We don't know where the, uh, the lock is, though. Got the key, but no lock. Oh. What is this? Oh, it's challenge room. Let's do the, um, let's do this first. Because it's probably just a reward. It sure is. Upgrade the gun. Upgrade the gun. No questions asked. Upgrade the gun. I just need to survive. Oh, hey. We need to be far enough away. What does that do? It's, it is just a better shot, isn't it? What a fun alt fire. I think it, yeah, it freezes. It pierces and freezes. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Some of the alt fires, like, aren't worth it. And it, oh my god. And then some absolutely are. Hello there. This one slaps. I don't know. Let them come. Oh. Actually, stay back. Stay away. Stay away. Just gotta kill the last one. They're all kind of just dying by themselves. Yeah. Is he on the side of this or what? Where is he? Is 
See, he's right there, but he's just... Oh, oh you're supposed to die before you did that, you jerk. Increase one level for a random weapon and your wand enhancing the damage they deal. Oh, cool. I don't know if it matters, like, what we're holding. Yeah, you gave it an upgrade to the blunderbuss. I mean, what can I say? I like gun. It go boom, boom, boom. I really like it. Uh, more incoming damage, even more crystals. We're probably running out of reasons to do this. Cause it's like you have to think. How many how many more floors are there? That that makes that determines whether or not this means anything to me. If there's only one floor left, this is stupid because experience only helps you gain these, you know? Whatever. Whatever. More damage taken, why not? Glass cannon to the max. I didn't even I forgot we didn't even have this key. I was like, I guess so I guess I'll go into that extra room. It's not that extra of a room really. Ah hi. Don't be so mad. Alright. Damage up, invincibility on. Hello, hello. Oh, where'd you go? Oh shoot. She's got me. That was, that was good. It was good. What the hell is this? What was, what was going to happen if I didn't kill that? Hey, hey, hey. Why so mad? Yeah, I have no idea what happens if I don't kill this. And I don't really need to find out, I guess. Why, did she just teleport on top of your ally's head there? Uh-oh. I mean, let's just go ham. At this point, let's just go ham. Oh. I thought that that was the boss for a second. I don't know. Where the hell are you? You're annoying. Uh, this is getting messy. I feel like I should have focused down some of these. I'm teleporting way after one hit every time now. There we go. That felt great. <laughs> Cleansing the entire army on the ground there. That that's that's satisfying. If your health is below 50%, your mana usage decreases by 50%. That's kind of nice. I should probably use the one more if we're gonna be going all for us. I feel like there's oh there's five floors? I don't have time for that. I ain't got time for that today. I ain't got time for five floors. We'll, we'll call it here then. Uh, if it were, if there was, if this was the last floor, I would do it. But hey, I feel like yeah, I feel like we showcased some of the new stuff pretty darn well. The, the game is just oh, we got to save and quit too. We can always just theoretically we could just come back. I mean, I'm probably not gonna, but uh, I might, I might start a series on it if you guys are interested. Uh, I really liked it. I. Like, I liked the game already. You can go back to the original Ziggurat 2 series uh, a year ago. I had very positive opinions, just wanted more variety, mostly. And, uh, hell, here it is. It's it's right here. Very, here is the variety crammed in my face. Uh, Ziggurat 2, it's really, like, it's, it's sick. I like it a lot. Uh, it's like Ziggurat 1, but just a lot better in every area and... <laughs> just, just they just polished up all the areas that were not um that just didn't hold up after like all of the roguelikes that came out since ziggurat one like the game was great then and it was it's still good but this is ziggurat 2 is probably what you're thinking about ziggurat one with rose tinted goggles is uh and hopefully you can even see now that there's like there's no competition it's just a better game it's just a better game with the addition of um, this Ziggurat trial, it's just a better game. I don't know what the argument would be for for the opposite at this point. It's awesome. 
Game's great. Pick it up. Link at the top of the description if you want to pick it up for yourself. Uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. If you guys are curious or want more about this game, then definitely consider uh, letting me know down below in the comments section. If enough people want a series out of this now that 1.0 is out, I could be convinced. Game's, game's great. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Rogue likes more every single day. If you like this genre, this is a channel you want to be interested in. You want to subscribe because otherwise you're going to miss out on great games like Ziggurat 2. Uh, and it's always just something you can undo later if you, if you regret it. If you subscribe and you're like, I made a huge mistake, you can just undo it later. It's okay. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Check out the channel. Rogue likes more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.